Welcome to this short video introduction of the Nixis Contact Suite. Nixis is a company specialized in the development of software solutions to structure, organize and optimize all your customer interactions. Today we will take a closer look at the Supervisor module. In this video, we will demonstrate the different possibilities to monitor the operations of your customer contact center. The Supervisor module provides in real time both global and detailed view on human resources and business aspects of the platform. On administration level, the administrator will define what kind of information will be seen for every supervisor. They can get full or limited access. Limitation can be put on agent level, team level, campaign level or queue level. When starting up the module, we get a global dashboard view on the contact center platform. This dashboard is often projected on wall displays by our customers to give the team an immediate view on the real-time situation of the operations. In the dashboard view, we distinguish six separate sections. An agent, an inbound, an outbound, a queue, a campaign and an alert section. The agent section shows in a graphical way the status of your different agents. The number of agents online, in wrap-up, in waiting or in pause mode. The campaign inbound and outbound sections give a global indication of the business situation of your operations. A campaign will group a number of inbound and outbound activities into a business case. The queue history information is an important view to control your service levels. It gives historical data on the number of calls that were treated immediately, treated after they've been into a waiting queue, that were sent to an overflow scenario and the number of calls that have been abandoned by your customers. In the alert sections, you can see in new notifications have been sent by the different users of the system. Typical notifications are specific help requests sent by your agent. Next to the global dashboard, we will look now in detail into the different sections. Let's first have a look at the agent view. Per agent, you get an overview on its current status, details on what he has been doing and his own results. We distinguish really results and results over the last hour. We also see immediately the current status an agent is in. We can see if he's for example online and in addition we can see if he's available to take additional voice conversation, emails or chat sessions. The supervisor can change the columns he sees. He can add columns or remove them and of course he can save his environment. After selecting an agent, the supervisor can also decide to listen into a conversation or start recording the conversation. Goedemiddag, u spreekt met Patrick van Contact Wat kan ik voor u doen? Goedemiddag, ik spreek met Rick Houtvast van Wauw.nl. Goedemiddag. Hoi, ik ben op zoek. The supervisor can also decide to send a message to the agent. He can do so by just sending a message that will appear on the agent interface, or he can start a chat session with the selected agent. In that case, the agent can react. Next to the agent view, we have also a camping view and an inbound and outbound views. In every view, just like the agent view, the user can add or remove columns to his convenience. The queue view allows the user to get detailed information on the current and historical state of the different waiting queues. In this section, we find crucial information to control the different service levels that have been agreed upon. So, this was a short introduction on the different possibilities of the Nixis Contact Suite Supervisor module. We thank you for watching and hope that you will also check our other videos. Videos are available to give you an introduction of the Nixis Contact Suite, to the agent interface, how the system can be administered, how you can listen to recorded conversations and on the reporting possibilities of the Nixis Contact Suite. Thank you and goodbye.